Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How is everyone this morning? I'm, you know, taking a moment. I'm stealing a moment. I really shouldn't be making videos right now. <laughs> um. Anyway, I I just saw on Twitter that Harry and Meghan's Harry and Meghan's R12 Foundation outshined Obama and Clinton foundations in the first year. And I thought that was so impressive, you know, so I went over, I don't come over to Archwell, the, the website very often. I don't know why. So I came over to it and I'm like, oh, okay. On March 14th, um, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex contributes recipe to the world central kitchen cookbook, feeding humanity, feeding hope. How positive. I didn't hear that in the news. I wonder why. And uh, so where do they have this report, though, on, on the Archwell Foundation? I have no idea. It doesn't say that. Wait a minute. Let's see news. Well, this is news. So they don't say that on their website. Here's an article about it on Hello. So let's see, what do they have to say about it? Because I, I, I think it's important, right? It's, it's important to, to spread good news, right? About these two little ones right here. Let's see how they're found. So Archwell goes from strength to strength. And uh, Prince Harry and Meghan's Archwell Foundation has hit the ground running, outperforming both the Obama and Clinton Foundations in their first year according to data released on the foundation's website oh it's on the website oh, okay in the first full year of operation they reported an incredible 13 million it's mm. a lot of money the obama foundation raised five million. Oh my gosh five and five is ten more than twice as much whoa and spent 1.9 million while clinton raised 10 million and spent two million clinton raised more than the Obamas. That's interesting. In the first years of operation, according to the respective foundation report. Wow, that's really, really impressive, I have to say, of these two. They have done an excellent job, and I don't think that the mainstream media gives them enough credit or covers them in a, in a balanced way at all. Meanwhile, this is uh, Kate and Williams Foundation. This is their team. Rather diverse, isn't it? And um, I don't know how much they raised, but um, about making a difference, childhood, mental health, COVID, history. Okay, how much did they raise? That would be interesting to know. And uh, speaking of the mainstream press, if you can, I don't know, I guess I would say Sky News is, is mainstream. It was very interesting to learn that um, William wrote some piece via Sky News, I mean, about how racism and abuse has no place in our society and so on and so forth. He was heavily criticized because, I mean, you know, some people are saying that he lacks credibility because he did not protect Megan, which which I think is, is, is a fair critique of the future king. But more interesting to me is is that he he he's like communicating with Sky News on this level where he he gives them this exclusive Sky News of all outlets. I've ever seen a single positive headline from Sky News about Meghan and Harry. It's like Prince Harry and Meghan continue to disparage or disparage the disparage. <laughs> I mean, I've been here too long. Disparage the, the royal family. Everyone's terrified Prince Harry and Meghan becoming whatever. I don't know. They're terrified of Harry and Meghan. It's Harry and Meghan's fault. It's their fault. Harry and Meghan grumbling. Um, like stuff that the royal family barring down to Harry and Meghan. Uh, Harry and Meghan are breathtakingly hypocritical. Harry and Meghan's entitled behavior is like every single day there are at least four or five um, headlines from Sky News Australia about Meghan and Harry that is just total like to me it's like cancer. It's like a cancer to the mind. I mean you can't sort of 
read this stuff without becoming unwell after a certain point. It, it's so negative, right? And William gives uh, uh, an exclusive to, to Sky News about racism. Like what? And I'm sitting here talking about reconciling with Harry and, and how you reconcile with William. I mean, I'm in La La Land, right? Big time. Meanwhile, I feel like Kate Middleton and her team are sort of, um, you know, doing their best to... How, how can I put this? Let me, let me try to put this in a way that is... Okay, I don't want to seem like I'm always, you know, I don't, I don't want to be negative about Kate. I don't want to be negative about Kate. And to be honest, I, you know, I, I sometimes have to, because for me, like my, my nature is just to try to find the positives, I think, for the most part, for the most part. But because of how things went down here, I find that I do the opposite with Kate sometimes because I feel like, you know, everything that she does is sort of, you know, recognized by the mainstream media in a positive way. And I feel like they go out of their way to cover Megan negatively. And I don't think it's balanced. I don't think it's fair. So I feel like, why should I you know, do that too when, when it's so imbalanced. I mean, you know, you need to balance the scales a little bit. So maybe sometimes I, I consciously don't point out Kate's positives and I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, but here's the thing. It's one thing to try to be positive about her and another thing to just be frank and honest about what you think. I mean, I think that her team copies Megan and Harry a lot, especially Megan, especially Megan's clothes, for example. But now it seems like they're trying to rebrand Kate and William full blown into the new Harry and Megan, literally. They're trying to turn them into entrepreneurs. I mean, this is the future king and queen. They are not entrepreneurs. They don't have to work for their, their living. They, they have everything handed to them. Every, every year, you know, a check is written or, or a, a bank transfer is done. They don't have to be entrepreneurs. The entrepreneur image is Megan and Harry. And down to Megan's very outfits, you know, they, they, they just copy everything that Megan does. And I can't sort of, well, let me, the positive thing I can say about Kate is, is she, she, you know, I like her figure. I do like her figure. And I think she looks good in most things that she wears. Okay. I'm not going to take that away from her. She looks great as does Megan, obviously. Um, but like the exact outfit. I mean, okay. She changed his shoes, but I mean, for heaven's sakes, but anyway, so, so now she's meeting with, um, these businessmen, you know, according to the New York post, um, she's blazering her way through her new campaign to improve the lives of young kids. And the princess of Wales wore an eye catching $2,000 Alexander McQueen jacket on Tuesday to meet business leaders in London to form a launch to formally launch her business task force for early childhood. I mean, it's so Megan. It's so Megan. Like, honestly, and, you know, meeting with all these business leaders and this, that, and the next. I mean, this is so Megan. Uh, the internet, and they find just every possible thing she does, and they just try to create as the same model for Kate. I mean, why not make, create this sort of original icon like she, you know it don't have a huge problem with it except if they're just rebranding them into Megan and Harry I mean let them be original let them be leaders let them be um their own icons and let Megan and Harry be Megan and Harry that said you know I I'm all for you know the, this image of Kate and William you know with the pancakes and with the um you know the bikes 
competitions and the, the carnival act. I'm not into the carnival act. I, I prefer them this way, really, you know, the more serious and, but I just don't want them to be clones of Megan and Harry. I want them to, to do their own thing, but okay, look again, I don't want to criticize people for doing good things and for trying to do the best they can with what they have, you know, I'm sort of all for, you know, team Cambridge being, you know, having more substance. I'm all for that. You know, this getting flowers for the cute little girl curtsying at the hospital. It, it's a little tired, like that's all they ever do. And so I'm all for them um, rebranding. And, you know, I, I, I would even love to see them work together. I think it will be a cold day in hell before they work together, unfortunately. But the, the two couples, you know, I guess it's too much. They can't work together. It's better that they do their own thing. But it would have been nice if there was something they could have done together. But I would like to see more originality, though. I don't want Kate and William to just, you know, cop everything Harry and Meghan do. And um, but that said, you know, congratulations to Harry and Meghan and to their their Archwell Foundation. And um, I think you know their work has been, you know, the first year of their, of their work has been just impressive. And they're such a, a wonderful example to, where did their picture just go? <laughs> I'm just suddenly the picture. They're, they're such a, a wonderful example to young people in the world and, and old people too, because I'm, I'm like impressed with them. And I want to be them when I will not be them, but I want to be like them when I grow up in some ways. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, so good for, for Megan and Harry, you know, good for the Sussexes. Keep up the good work over at Archwell. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next one.